Hi, I'm Wendy Gardner and this is the Craft Academy. I'm going to show you how to insert an exposed zip. That's when the teeth are deliberately left exposed. Perfect for bags and even some fashion garments now. The first thing to do is to use your zip foot. Now a zip foot has one centre prong and can be attached to the machine either side with the pin, so it can be attached either side so the needle goes down either side. And you'll move it across depending on which side of the zip you're inserting at a time. Stage one of this, now I'm going to give you a quick tip before I start. I'm using an old zip, but it was too long. So I've just bar tacked across by hand, hand stitching on the spot seven or eight times. That's now my new stop, and I can just chop off beyond that. This has got plastic teeth, so I can chop with normal scissors and not worry about them. So I now have the zip to the length I want. The first thing to do is to place it face down on the right side of your fabric so that the edge of the zip is in line with the edge of the fabric. So I'm going to pin that in place. Now, of course, you can baste it in place if you wish. I'm just going to use pins. And then I shall stitch down about 3 eighths of an inch or a centimetre away from the edge of the teeth. First of all, I'm going to put my zip foot on. And when I put the zip foot on, I want to make sure that the zip foot is farthest away from the teeth. So I'm going to attach it on this occasion to the left side. Place the pin under the groove, clip it in place. To start, I'm going to do the zip up so that I can get the teeth and the pull away from the needle and from the zip foot. Double check that the needle is going to go through the groove in the foot, which it does through that little hole there. So I've turned the balance wheel by hand and then I'm ready to sew. So I've moved the zip pull beyond the teeth, beyond the foot, so that when I'm stitching, I'm not trying to stitch around the bulk of the pull. That side's done, I'm now going to attach the zip to the other piece of fabric. So I shall open out the zip, so the right side of the zip goes along the right side of the fabric edge. Match it up, match the edges of the fabric, pin it in place. And then I can make sure the fabric gets out of the way. And I'm going to undo the zip again just so that when I start it, I'm not trying to get round that zip pull. Just undo it a little way. So the zip is installed in place and the teeth are nice and visible. Now if I wanted to, I could actually push the seam allowance over a little bit so it's just the teeth visible, give that a press and then top stitch that in place. So again, I'm going to use the edge of my presser foot. I'm going to move the needle across so that I can stitch about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric.
Zip installed, my bag is now ready to complete. And in order to complete the bag, I'm going to fold it right sides together and stitch down the sides, across the bottom and up. But do remember, open the zip first, otherwise you won't be able to turn it through. <laughs>